Hey guys, this is Naveed here. Welcome back to Naveed Automation Labs. A uh, quick video I thought of uh, preparing for you. It will be really helpful. So if you really want to run any large language models, like any kind of LLM models, you really want to run it in your local. For example, Llama 3.3 or DeepSeek R1, which is very popular these days, uh, 5.4, Mistral, you know, and there are N number of models which are there in the market. And you don't want to run any kind of prompt on their host like uh, let's see for example you're writing some test cases you're writing some code you are writing some some confidential documentation that you are uh, looking for doing some research on these llm models and everything and some private prompts that you don't want to expose on their platform then in that case some confidentially you want so if you really want to run it in your local without any network without any uh, you know, over the internet, just run it everything in the local, that also you can do it, right? So how to use it, how to download a specific LLF model and then how to configure it and then how to run it in your local system, either it is Mac window or Mac or window or Linux or whatever. So for that, what you can do, you can just simply go to this olama.com, which is a kind of a platform it will give it to you, just like uh, n number of uh, repositories are available for the different models. First of all, that it will give you a platform so uh, to run this. It will give you a kind of engine to run all the LM models. So I'm just going to download this first of all. It's absolutely free of cost. Go to either MacBook, Linux, or Windows. So let's say I'm having MacBook, so I'm just going to download this one. So let it download, and uh, the download will start here. You can see the download. It's happening here. And then you can go to their models sections also. And here, N number of models, popularity-wise or ranking wise or the newest wise that you can check it here for example deep sick r1 which is like first generation of reasoning models provided like generated by and created by uh, china which is very popular these days and you don't want to run any prompt on their uh, on their platform on their host then in that case you can download this deep seek r1 c llama 3.3 5.4 4, with 14 billion parameters state of the art open model from microsoft and then there are like crazy mistral is also there Quen is also there gamma is also there llama 2 5 3 lava lava is also very popular LLM model for the multi-model uh, combination with the encoder and the vicuna generated purpose visual and graphics point of view and then the code llama also is available like there are like n number of LLM models which are available here you can just simple check in the search also here so let's see for example i really want to uh, download deep sick r1 so just simply click on this and then uh, there are a number of parameters are available like 1.5 b 7 b 8 b 14 b so more and more parameter that you are having it will be more heavy it will give you better results if you are having the better uh, uh, more parameters over here right but the if you see uh, the size also getting increased let's see for example 70 b 43 gb but 671 b 404 gb right these are the billions of parameters which we are having it but you should have 404 GB, right? So accordingly, you can take it. The more and more uh, billion parameters are available, it will give you the better and accurate result. The less one that you are having it, let's say for example, 1.5 B, it will give you maybe some, it will take time, time or maybe not that accurate maybe, but uh, 1.5 B is also quite like a huge one, right? But remember the, the performance, the response, from the lowest side will be better as compared to the highest side. So I'll just give you a demo here. Let's say I'm just going to select this particular 1.5B. And then after that, you just simply use this particular 1.5B. You can just download it or you can just run this particular uh, image which is available here. So just simply copy this. And then uh, before that, what we will do, we will see the status of Olama Darwin. So just simple open this particular zip file. And now we are going to install first of all olama here so this is the olama and then i'm going to install it here so this is what the olama see is getting started in my system this is a kind of engine which will help me to okay see now just move to help, uh, application this is help me to run these uh, uh, different ldm models on their platform so it's absolutely free open source you can just download it and now you see that welcome to olama which is available here click on next and then you simply click on install. Let me just, if I can give my password here and uh, run your first model. No, I don't want Llama 3.2. I want a DeepSeek R1. 
So now it's done. Now you simply open your terminal, your command prompt, and then you can check it, ulama minus v. Now you see that ulama version, which is 0.5.7 now available here. Now I really want to check that ulama list here. Right now, as of now, we don't have any model available here. And uh, if you check it, let's see quickly with the help. These are the different commands that you can run it. Run to run a model to stop a running model, just like Docker, we use it, right? Pull, push, list, PS, uh, list of the running models that you can check it here as well. So let's see, I'm checking that Olama PS. Nothing is running available here, right? So right now, nothing, okay? Now what we will do, we are just going to copy this command, Olama run deep sync R1, 1.5B, version that I really want to use it here. So now it will start pulling from their repository and it's pulling that particular uh, LLM model that is DeepSeq R1 model in my local, right? And once it's available in my local and after that, it's absolutely good to go with that. So let it just uh, quickly pull this particular image and then uh, once it's up and running and then after that, what we have to do, we have to there are two ways we can see the console also like during the I mean on the console also we can give the prompt and everything we can see the response that also we can do it here. Second thing is that we really need some graphical interface where we can just give the prompt and then get the response and we can maintain the chat history and other things that also we can do it. So you can just download this chat box AI. So Chatbox AI is your uh, AI co-pilot on any device. It's an AI client application and the smart assistant. It is compatible with all the different operating systems. So what you just need to do, just simply click on free download for Mac OS or Windows. If you are having Windows also, then in that case, the download for Intel base, I'm using the Intel base Mac. So let it download this uh, Chatbox AI also here. It's a very lightweight application. So let me just download this Chatbox DMG also here. So I'm just going to open it from here. Okay, and just move it to the application folder as well. So just simple replace it because I was already having it and now click on open after that, right? Now, let's see on the console terminal first of all that you see that nice. It's see, successfully done. So now I can just give the prompt here in the command prompt. L. So here, see for any example, let's see, uh, I'm writing print hello world using Java. See, so now we are getting the prompt. I hope you can see it here that we are uh, getting the response and the complete uh, generative AI response. That is what we are getting it. So first it's a starting the thinking process. And then after that, because this is a R1 model, right? So it's a, it will start the doing the, it will start doing the reasoning and the thinking process. And then after that, it is giving me the Java code here. Okay. So now you see that, uh, although I told you, right, it's hello eight world, it's printing and five plus three, hello eight world, maybe my my prompt was print hello world using java okay uh, but it's giving me hello eight world but here you can see that okay you are getting the output here right for example let's write something else okay i'm writing a write a java code uh to sort an array using let's see bubble sort algorithm let's see what exactly it does so again it's uh first of all thinking the process and then after that uh it will start giving you the response also. So first of all, you see that the thing process got started. And then after that, it will start giving you the Java code over there. Meanwhile, what you can do, you can just open your chat box over here. Let me remove this particular, the previous one. Okay. Now in this particular chat box, you see that, okay, software developer example, translator example, social media influencer, these number of examples that they have given. You can start your own new chat also here. And here it will, you can select that which model that you really want to uh, use it here. So I'm just going to use deep seek R1, which is here. And then here also I can give my prompt here. See, everything is running in my local. I'm not running on deep seek uh, platform or any other platform online. So here again, I'm giving one simple, uh, you know, simple that, okay, print. Uh, let's see again, same thing I'm writing print hello world using uh, Java. So this is a prompt that I have given. Then after that, it will start giving me the response here. So see this exactly same thing is giving me here. You can try it and you can enhance your prompt. Okay. Uh, skip the uh, thinking process. Just directly give me the code that also you can write it here. Right. So it's up to you. Right. Let's see on the terminal. Now you see that on the terminal, it's actually giving me the bubble sort. 
complete logic that is what given here and you can after that you just copy paste and then you can use it here and it's giving me the explanation also what is the explanation what is the sorting process and output if you really want to write some test cases that also you can write it right so i'm writing let's see uh, write some uh, test cases for this program so see this so now it will again start thinking process and then it will start writing the a test case is also for that. So ultimately it's working in my local. See that it's uh, properly working over here. And if you really want to run it on your command prompt, you can use the terminal or the command prompt, or you really want to use the visual thing that also you can use it here. See it's printing the system dot or and hello world. It's actually printing it here. Okay. You're not getting much better uh, output and the result. Why? Because we have given the 1.5 B. Okay, if you give go with the higher version of the model, then in that case, or with more parameters, then in that case, it will start giving me the accurate results also here. But you see that, okay, see, it's writing my test cases here. Can you see empty array test, single element array, reverse order test, and all those things. So you can write n number of prompts and everything. You can just simply use it here. You can just press control C to terminate it. See, like this. And then again, you can write a new prompt here. Simple, right? If you really want to exit that, you can just simply press control D to exit again, come back here and you can check it here that uh, Olama uh, PS. Now you see that, okay, 100% CPU processor is using it and 1.56 ZB. And this is the name of this uh, LM model, which is running in my local here. Again, you want to run it, just simple run this particular uh, command once again. And then again, within a second, it is up and running. And again, we are coming inside the LM model. Again, you can give a prompt here. Okay. So I'm writing, tell me about Naveen Automation Labs. I hope. Let's see. Tell me about Naveen Automation Labs. I heard of automation tech before, but I don't know much about the specific companies or labs related to that. Let's break this down. I remember the term called Naveen Online somewhere. Maybe it's name of the company that automation stuff. They might be in India since the name includes lab, which is common in tech sectors. I think Naveen because they have product called Tinker Lab or something. No, I think it's a wrong one. But uh, but anyways, I think they don't know about Naveen Automation Labs, but maybe they are not mature about it. So I'm just canceling it out. Okay. But anyways, the more and more things you provide, it will be trained on the basis of your data. And then you can start using it, guys. You can go to their official GitHub repository also, which is available here, where they have given the references, references and the different commands. And uh, these are the popular example models that they have given, which can be downloaded by using these commands. Okay, for example, Gamma 2, Gamma 3, Mistral, and Neutral Chat, Starling, a Code Llama, and then Llama 2 Uncensored, Lava also, Solar also that they have given. You can just simply use it here accordingly. Okay, they have given you should have at least 8 GB of RAM available to run 7B model, 16 GB to run 13B model, and 32 GB to run 33B model. It means the RAM size also should be good enough. Trust me, I'm having 16 GB RAM and I'm running 1.5, but still my laptop is slightly slow right now. Okay, so just be careful, but it's absolutely good to go for your practice point of view. Really want to customize it, you completely open source, they have exposed their code also. And you really want to see the contribution and the, their comments and everything. You really want to contribute for these kind of projects. You can do that as well. So I hope now you got to know how to run any specific LNM model in your local and how to research about it. That's all for this video. Share this video. People are looking for something interesting with respect to generative AI. I'll provide more videos uh, related to this in future. Till then, take care and God bless you always.